craving shaving. Today's video is going to be just an awesome shave. I'm going to be using Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Home on the Range, and I'm also going to be using the Crown King Knot that I just put in my West Coast shaving brush. It's currently all lathered up, <clears throat> ready to go. I would, uh, I, I love face lathering with this brush, but as you can see, tiny little sample, can't really load up in here, so we're doing the bowl lather today. I, I really like, if you haven't checked out my lather and scent review of that, I'm sure I'll talk about the scent a little bit today, but um, I did have another video about that. So the razor that I'm using is my West Coast Shaving prototype razor. I don't know what else to call it. It is beautiful. I love it. <laughs> this is probably my favorite razor that I have. And unfortunately, it is not for sale yet. Ah, I just want them to come up with this razor so bad. So those of you who have been watching the channel for a while, are probably sick of hearing me say that. But, okay, so let's go ahead and get in. So I've got my, uh, my lather all made up. Kind of build it on my face a little bit. I love the lather that this generates. For some reason, I don't know, I don't like bowl lathering <laughs> on camera. It just feels, I know it probably doesn't take too much longer, if, if at all longer, than face lathering, but it feels like, like it's just ages, and it's just boring content. You guys can let me know, <laughs> I guess, if you want to see me lather it up in the bowl. Oh, I do love the face feel of this brush, though. This brush makes me want to give up bowl lathering for good. <laughs> this, uh, this soap, the more I'm around it, when I first got it, I was kind of disappointed because I was expecting, it says home on the range, I expected somehow it was going to be like firing a gun, you know, like that discharged gunpowder smell. And I get now that that would be kind of hard. So you're using gunpowder, but it's not, you know, spent gunpowder. It's gunpowder that hasn't been used, I'm sure is what they are basing that on. Um, <laughs> sorry, took this off my hands. And... After I kind of got over that initial, oh, this isn't what I thought it was going to be, I have had all kinds of nostalgic moments with this soap. I've only used it a few times, but it is, it is just, it reminds me of high school, which is kind of fun. The good parts of high school, right? Not the crappy parts of high school. I was thinking when I was making my other video, I was reminiscing about going shooting with my friends in high school. And there was one time when uh, so one of my neighbors that would go take a shooting. He was a plumber. Probably still is a plumber. I haven't talked to him in a while. Um, but he took a shooting one time and brought a, an old toilet that he just had from a job or something, I don't know why. But my buddy brought his uh, 22, shot, uh, 22 410 kind of over and under deal and he brought a couple other guns. He brought his uh, muzzle loader, black powder rifle, you know, and we demolished <laughs> that toilet. It was a lot of fun. You know, you just got to do that kind of stuff when you're a teenager in Utah. <laughs> Southern Utah. It's just going to happen. Okay. Great residual slickness from this soap. One thing with this brush, no, not brush, <laughs> razor, rather, this, uh, West Coast Shaving Prototype Razor is with certain blades. Now, it's not with all blades. Feathers line up perfectly, no problem, for instance. Um, 
Seems like some other ones line up really well. Right now in it I have a Gillette Sharp Edge, the ones that come in the yellow package. And for whatever reason, they just will not line up. That one side is almost always exposed a little bit more. Now, that doesn't really bother me because it, it's not lining up crooked. It's just one side's exposed more and so one side's not as aggressive, which I can actually use to my advantage if I want. But anyway, getting back to the toilet story. So, <laughs> we blow it up with the muzzle loader and it's just demolished, but you know, we're not done with it. We've got other guns there and whatnot. And so we get the 22. And my buddy takes a pot shot at the toilet with the 22. And right as he shoots, I feel like right here. Well, we hear the ricochet, and I feel something hit me right in my throat. It was a ricochet from the bullet. On, off of the toilet and my first thought was I'm dead I just got shot in the neck I was fine it wasn't a bad ricochet or anything I think it made my neck red there for a little bit but it was fine but I was pretty dramatic I thought my life had ended Hmm. But that's what this soap reminds me of. Things like that. Old stories of going and shooting toilets and clay pigeons and all that. I haven't owned a gun in ages. Ever since I had kids, I kind of got away from that. But it is fun to think about. I have a brother-in-law who's very much into guns. I would say he's pretty typically what non-Americans think of as all Americans being. He has several shotguns and assault rifles and I don't know if they're assault rifles. I think he has an AK. I don't know. I've lost track of what he has, if I'm being completely honest. One thing I do like about bow lathering is I often have quite a bit more left over for some reason or another. Whenever I face lather, maybe I just get more soap when I'm bow lathering. But, anyway. Whew. Watching the Olympics. Last little bit. My wife's in there watching figure skating right now. I'm not as into figure skating. The only thing on though was figure skating and curling. And even while I was in Canada, I lived in Canada for a little bit. And <laughs> I never did, I even went curling once. Thinking this is a good Canadian thing to do while I'm living here. I don't know. I'm sure there's a point to it, but it escaped me. Either that or I hated it because I was no good at it. Which could be the case. We do that sometimes. That's great. Tell you what, that feels nice. All right, let me rinse my face off. We'll come back for post shave. Oh, guess I'm not drying my face. I don't have a towel on here. All right, let's see. I'm gonna. I didn't pick this out beforehand. Let's go with 
What do I want? Let's go with this one. Go with some Barbershop Aftershave Balm by Sterling. This is the one, oh man. I'm sure some of you can relate with this a little bit. I love the scent of this. My wife loves the scent of it, which is maybe even more of an incentive, but I do react to it slightly. Not super bad, but it just smells so good. And I don't re react bad enough that I deal with it. That was way too much. I always use too much with balms. Making me look even more pasty white than I already am. Mm. It does feel good after the, and it only burns a teeny bit for a little little while, and then it goes away, and it feels great. Oh, I like it. So. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, I really appreciate it, and and I, I want to say I really appreciate it too. Chris from Another Cut Above gave me a shout out on his channel. Really appreciate that. So I know some of you may be coming over from that channel. So welcome to Craving Shaving. If you have any suggestions for me, throw them in the comments. Also, I'm really getting tired of the beard. So, or the goatee. So, if you guys, if you guys think I should keep it, throw it in the comments. Uh, give me some encouragement. Otherwise, it's probably going to come off soon. But anyway, uh, big thank you to Chris. He helped me get my channel up. He's the one that helped me figure out how to get this camera situation going. Because I don't know if you've thought of this, but having a camera in the bathroom is kind of an awkward thing to, to have, or uh, above the bathroom sink anyway. So helping me figure out how to do that uh, really got me started, and I, I went to Chris for answers for that. So thank you so much, Chris. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in to Craving Shaving again, and hope you have a wonderful day.